What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna be explaining to you how I got my real Rocket Bunny over fenders for thousand dollars Maybe a little less at the time, but they're definitely at least a thousand dollars now So I'm gonna hop on the computer and I'm gonna show you guys how I got my real authentic Rocket Bunny V1 fenders for at least a thousand dollars Alright guys, so this is how I got my authentic Rocket Bunny V1 kit for a thousand dollars So first off you want to go to 86 86speed.com and you go to the shop categories and you go to body parts first gen brz uh 86 brz frs first gen then you go to body parts and then you can go to body kits i believe and then right here right here you can go v1 over fenders rear over fenders this is what i bought these guys, these are authentic Rocket Bunny kits, uh, Rocket Bunny fenders. So you can do this. All right now, it's on sale. Actually, you got it's four hundred seventy nine dollars, or seventy seven four hundred seventy four dollars and ninety nine cents. So it's actually cheaper than what I bought it for right now. They are actually authentic. Uh, it did take like this this amount of time to to get to me. So, but uh, yeah, these are a pair. So when you buy these things, they come in pairs. So you get five hundred dollars. Pretty much five hundred dollars for the rear fenders if you want the v1 fenders and then you can get the v2 fenders if you want to but that's the whole kit right there that is that's thirty six hundred bucks but if you just want to get the over fenders and it's way cheaper to do it this way so you get the front over fenders right here five hundred and eighty two dollars this is what i bought i bought these and i bought the rears uh the rears actually they rose the price on them the rears the front and rears used to be 500 even they they, they used to be 499.99 uh i think i guess they rose the price on their fronts now for some reason which is kind of weird uh i got these for 500 dollars a piece that's how you get rocket bunny finish for a little over a thousand dollars that's pretty much what i did just so you guys know if you guys don't know this yet the rear fenders are two pieces from the bumper into the over fender uh rocket bunny actually changed that to get rid of the the bumper flapping around in the wind so if you guys do plan on molding your kit uh just know that you have to mold your bumper to your fender or else it's not going to look good uh that's what i did yeah the new the new fenders are actually one piece that right there is not there that seam right there is not there anymore it's completely one piece uh it looks way better but i mean if you're just bolting it on then it doesn't really matter your bumper's not going to be flapping in the wind that's what rocket bunny did they got rid of all of it uh they got rid of the separate the second piece completely and just made it all one continuous piece uh and i honestly i think it looks damn good that's all i got here at the computer uh back to the video there's not much proof i can show you guys besides this right here it says 86 v1 uh, there's not really any other markings on the Rocket Bunny fenders to show to prove that they're real, but they are real. If you go to the 86 speed website, you can you can purchase the over fenders. If you want the V2 rears, you can do the V2 rears too, as you guys can see on the video. Honestly, uh, I didn't have to mold this kit. It really it fit perfectly. It's just that I wanted to do a different route. Everybody does bolts on fenders, so I was like, oh yeah, let's uh let's uh let's let's mold them on you know it, it can't be that hard it can't be that hard uh year a year probably a half later still the same so much work so much work i don't know how much it costs for a shop to mold rocket bunny v1 fenders but uh it's definitely a lot of work uh it's definitely it was definitely an experience for sure as you guys can see the car honestly looks amazing as it sits right now, I got so much overspray on. I should have taped off the headlights. I'm sorry, guys. You guys are probably angry about that, but um, I can't really I can't really take off the headlights because they are hardwired in to my turn signal. Because obviously, without a bumper cut, I don't have turn signals anymore. Because if you guys have a FRS 86 BRZ, well, actually, no, it's more of the it's more of just the FRSs and GT 86s. They have the headlight or the, the turn signals in the front bumper at the bottom of the front bumper instead of in the headlight like the BRZs have I believe so that's how I went around that I just uh, I just wired the turn signal wire from the headlight straight to the turn signal wire at the bottom this is a quick little video to show you guys uh, how I got my Rocket Bunny V1 over fenders for a thousand dollars you do not need to buy a fake kit i know a lot of people sell good fake kits but um what's the point of buying a what's the point of buying a fake kit when it's already when they're a thousand dollars when you can 
literally buy the real ones for the same price. Come on now. The only reason why people think it's way more expensive is because they're looking at the full kit and the full kit obviously comes with the front bumper, front, uh, front lip, front lip, side skirts, diffuser, wing, like everything that would make it cost $3,000. But if you just want the over fenders and you want to style your car yourself, you, could, you can spend $1,000 on real fenders and you can, you can go your own route instead of going straight full Rocket Bunny V1, you know? So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have FRS 86 or BRZ, you can do the same thing as I did. You can, you can go on 86 speed, buy them. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Also, comment uh, if this helps you out, if this video helped you out or not, whether or not you should buy a real or fake kit. And this is Andrew from Yak Boys, and I'm signing out. Peace.